So there it is, Hope Street. Um, the, the chord sequence uh, in the intro and the end and the little turnaround is, is E minor, C, D with an F sharp bass, B. tried to come up with that, that uh, something that sounded a little different, you know, and um, kind of reminded me of some of the more modern James Bond films that, that had interesting themes and, and uh, uh, interesting chordal ideas, and so I wanted to, I wanted to do that, you know, paint a picture just with chords at the start. <laughs> Now, the opening phrase of each verse is a... Uh, yeah. So when I'm doing this, I'm going... Okay. So I'm picking out the high E string then I hit the A bass. I was trying to think like uh, uh, of a voice, something like Keb Moe's voice with that's what I was thinking, so, and then if it had little harmonies. It's just a beautiful sound. A. Now, I hit the groove here, F sharp minor. I'll do that again. F sharp minor. That's an E. So F sharp minor. E with an A flat bass. Then A. D with an F sharp bass. To A with an E bass. Which gives it that R and B and that gospel sound. That, that's a. Hear that? writing this and doing that, I thought, what can I do on this next time around to make it different? And I started thinking about George Harrison and the way he wrote, and I thought, what would George do? And I thought, maybe he'd just move it up. So I, I thought it was a nice sound, you know? And I thought, yeah, I think George would probably do that. If he didn't, he'd probably like it anyway. But, so, uh, the very first time round, we don't go um, to the A minor after that. We go back to A major and then we, we're led straight back in to the second verse. I don't want to give too much away too soon, which is another songwriter's tool. Um, or uh, what, what we do a lot of times when we're writing songs is we hint at what's coming, but we don't give you everything too soon. So I'd go... Um, um, And 
we've, 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 we've built it to there, and now we've, uh, this is the first time that your ear has heard D to A minor, D to A minor. That's a nice sound. Um, so that leads us now into the next section. I also wanted to say that this part, I'm kind of muting the bass a little bit there. It's not, it's, kind of strumming like a, almost uh, like I've got a pick in my hand, but I'm strumming with a thumb pick. major seventh now now what it is is C major seventh got my thumb on the C bass see that now I've switched to I've still got the C bass but I'm playing a D triad here so it sounds like this play that whole thing. Okay, one more time. Now, the next line is this shape here. It's A, there's the A. got the C sharp on the bass and I'm going on the on the two high strings you see that and what I'm doing is I'm going okay so so I'm upstroking with my right fingers. My first two now I go, this is an unusual little lick. I hit the B uh, harmonic here on the on the seventh fret. Then I go uh, and I try to get all the notes to ring into one another. pretty quickly you'll have to get used to that and practice that part 
So it's like de li 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 le, like that all dead in time. And bring leads you back into the verse again. So the next verse is the same as the one before it. It uh, it does the two A minors. Then into the next bridge. All right, back to there again. And then the same thing. Then that same thing again. But this time when we go. I kind of do a just a little upstroke with my thumb pick. And, and, and just slide my hand down. And then after this second bridge, I come back into the opening uh, introduction chord sequence. So I go... Uh, and, and what I usually do on the last verse is I play those two opening phrases just that little bit more gentle on the last time. Because it's kind of, to me, it's like uh, it, the song has almost said everything. It's just, uh, it's saying the same thing, but it's saying it in a different way. I don't quite know how else to explain that to you. But to me, when I play it a little more gentle, it's kind of like, we're almost back at the first verse again. You remember I told you blah, 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 you know, sort of thing. And then I dig in again for that part of the verse. sequence. We turn that around. So let me just run you through that once. I'd say positive note and uh, that's Hope Street that's how to play it and uh, I hope it speaks to you I hope it says something to you uh, it sure says a lot to me when I'm playing it and uh, been a pleasure to show you how to play that